All right, you guys. It's Saturday the nineteenth, and we have a we have a returning guest on our channel. Hi, hi. Hi. We're going to put some Caltrex on this car for a thing that she's going to do. So I'll put you guys on a time lapse, and we're just going to go through this thing because today's my only day off, and I'm in a hurry. So a time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna time lapse it, and then uh. I may slow it down when we do this, that, or the other, so. And just like that, Tess has new springs. I think they're going to the track uh, next month or something. So, look. Oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, they still need to put the Caltrack bars. So, that'll do it for that. And I'll catch up with you maybe Monday. All right, you guys, it's Monday the 21st. I'm freaking beat, I've been working a bunch of hours, but I'm out here for a couple hours. And what I'm gonna do now is now that I've got room, I still need to plate this inner area on the frame, but now that I got room, what I'm gonna do is set the, I've got the tires already set in here. I'm gonna get on the creeper, kind of get underneath there, see where, I, where the wheel is like centered in this hole that I have now. I'm gonna measure it and then I've got a piece of three inch pipe that I'm gonna make cut and act like it's the length of the rear end. And then I wanna try to cycle the suspension, you know, like push the car up and down, see about what I got. It's just for mock-up, nothing permanent. Um, but I should be able to, if it's gonna work, it might, it's looking like the front of the wheel might be too close to the, um, to the body so the pin might have to be re-drilled in these springs and move that rear end back maybe like an inch but nonetheless um it'll allow me to at least set the car all the way down um so yeah that's what i'm gonna do and uh i'll catch up with you guys after i measure all right i spared you the time lapse and cut this when I measured, it was 50, let's see, forgot already, 51 and three quarters. So let me show you what I, what the set is gonna be here. So basically you got these eighth inch plates, put on here and I'll weld two. We'll use like two, two of these studs. I'll always tack these on but that'll allow me to bolt the, get the U-bolts out, bolt this into the car, and then bolt the wheels to the rear end and then see where we're at. We're gonna be really close to the front of the wheel well, like really close. So I'll get this crank in and then we'll check it out. Here's my mocked up POS that I'm gonna try to use. We'll see if I can even get the studs to go in. May have to cut these loose and re-tack them, but we're gonna put this in the car.
my ass kicked. So I can get one in, but that's only because I can move this pipe back and forth. So that ain't gonna work. And when I try to move the pipe all the way over, so I can get the other uh, wheel on, we're hitting right here. So let me show you. I'm hitting on this lip. So I'm gonna lift it up on the lift, get the zip disc, throw some little slices in that thing. <clears throat> Excuse me, and bend it forward a little bit so I'm not having so much trouble with it. And then uh, maybe that'll let me get it over. It's gonna be a bitch to do this. Um, with brakes and stuff on and extra long studs, it's gonna be a bitch. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to let this rear end drop out quite a ways to be able to easily change um, tires. But what I'm gonna do right now is pull that tire off, pull that wheel off. I'll get this thing up, make a couple of little slices and dices and then see where we're at. All right, didn't film it, but this had a lip. We took that lip down, kind of marked the body panel so that it still looks like it's factory, I guess. Uh, the other side full of dirt, real bad right here. Just, there was like a little round piece that covers the seam where they put this bottom piece on. So I'll have to do something here when final assembly time to keep water and stuff out of here. Uh, but here we go again. What an ass kicker. I've got got it in there. The problem is, is the tires are hitting the front where I just trimmed. When I say hit, I mean hitting hard. So I may let it down because obviously this is on the big part of the tire, but I'm scared I'm gonna cut the scared I'm gonna cut it. That's doing that on both sides. That's why I'm thinking the pin's gonna have to be moved back. Other than that, I've got good clearance. <laughs> Both sides. <laughs> I'm liking the clearance. <laughs> so, pretty confident uh, this whole rear end slider package deal in the back is gonna have to be able to come out. Um, there's just no way, not with these little itty bitty, uh, fenders. I just called John at Calvert to see if, I just got a few questions, how far they can move the thing back. Shoot, I could go an inch and a half. I don't know. I'm waiting for him to give me a call back. So probably catch up with you guys tomorrow. I got to go in early today for a meeting. But I'll catch up with you tomorrow and I'll probably have heard from John by then. And then probably gonna have to pull these springs off and have, have this pin redone. And if I can do it an inch and a half, I may do it an inch and a half. Just so I got some good clearance in the front. That way if we're hitting bumps and towing trailers, we'll be all right. <laughs> service right there I figured I was gonna drop my springs off and you know pick them up later in the week or, or next week but they bang them out right now and switched them out so they basically added a longer front spring and then re-drilled so that the axle is gonna be pushed back one inch and I hope that's enough because they can do this again but it, I think they do this one time for free and then the next time you're gonna pay so um, the reason I didn't go any more than one inch, I don't know if I said this earlier in the video, but it's because uh, I didn't want to 
get the wheel so far back that it doesn't look like it's in the center of the wheel well. And the wheelhouse is curved like the uh, opening in the fender. And if the wheel's scooted too far back, when the suspension articulates, I, I don't want it to be rubbing the wheelhouse. You know, like the wheelhouse is real big in the front for a reason, because that's where the axle's supposed to be. So I'm hoping one inch works. And if it's a deal where I gotta let air out of the tire, get it in and out um, you know then I'm gonna have to do that I, I don't want to get it so far back in there another thing is I might take a half inch off of this mock-up axle that I got I think I have room to do that and I think that'll it'll put the tire about three-eighths of an inch maybe quarter of an inch um, away from that inner frame but It'll allow me to, should allow me to have a little more room getting the tire uh, in and out of there. So we'll catch you back up when we get back to the house. Oh no, this one didn't. Okay, there's 230 from Terry, 190. There we go, Jeff. Yeah, that's about where I want it. See? Oh no, you didn't. Plenty of room now. Hey, you have fat buddies. <laughs> yeah. Hey, come on, baby. We're not fat, we're just big bones. Right. Hey, right. All right. So, that looks a whole lot better. A whole lot more room. I kind of wish I, it was forward a half an inch, to be 100% honest with you, but I didn't film putting it together, and then my friend stopped by, Tim and Terry, stopped by to, to BS. But uh, this gives me, I mean, this length, is perfect i'll flip the camera around cards on the ground it's high I and mean, it ain't gonna be ride height until the weight's in it here's what we're looking like in here Ryan could come over this way just a little bit i mean there's room gonna go pick up a one inch block from Tess and then I'm gonna go back and throw it on the Falcon real quick just to see it sits a little too high in the back I know no there's no weight in it yet but you know I'm trying to get this thing just the way I want it to be so I'm gonna go get this block go back put you on time lapse we'll throw the blocks in then we'll take a look at it <laughs> Center on. I think I got them out of whack when I took them apart. Have them powder coated. Uh, car still sitting like that, which I don't do not like. But I'll probably wait until we get weight in the car before I start getting too nervous. I just know John at Calvert told me that. I'm pretty sure he said these were one slower springs. So we may have to do something to get it down where I want it to be. It's gotta look perfect. But, um, got something in the mail today too. I'll unbox it real quick for you guys. All right. This 
This is uh, Funkhauser's anti-roll bar. Really like this guy's stuff. Made right here in Southern California. Although I think he's getting ready to bail out of the state like everybody else. I just really like this stuff. I know it's nice stuff. Pushing bracket, those are the rear end tabs. Those are the brackets. These are something else that I messed up that he had to resend. And the actual bar. This is the actual anti-roll bar. These ends will go on. After we get it cut where we want it, and then these are the, the down links. So he sends you all that stuff currently on sale, which is good. All right, you guys, there you have it. This is the Funkhauser anti-roll bar. Um, I'll probably mess with this in the next video and, and show you what's gonna happen in the next video. Um, so that'll about do it for this video. Thanks for tagging along. Thanks for watching. I appreciate everybody's support, comments, likes, and all that stuff. Uh, I'm still having on the, still haven't had the opportunity to cut that rear end apart and get it to the powder coater. So I'm probably gonna try to do that tomorrow. Today is Wednesday, the whatever day. I'm gonna probably get up Thursday and I'll get out here. I'll get that thing sliced up and diced up and, uh, run it out, hopefully run it out to the powder coater if I have time. If I don't, then I'll get it out there on Friday and the inner wheelhouses. Um, but like I say, that'll probably do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps keep me in the rhythm. I've been trying real hard to put a video out a week. So I appreciate everybody's support. Catch you on the next one.